loves, it's Sam. So today I'm going to be doing a first impressions and demo of the Ariana Grande REM Beauty Collection. I am so excited. I have been waiting for this for so long. As soon as I heard news that she was coming out with one, I was like, yep, first on the list. I have been obsessed with her perfumes for a very long time. They are just absolutely amazing. Um, and her as an artist, I love her music. So today I'm going to be talking you through everything that I got. I'm going to be sharing the prices of everything and we're just going to be talking about the products itself, the packaging, what are my favorites, what I think you could miss on, just all the good stuff and then I'm going to be doing a full makeup tutorial showing you guys exactly how I got this look using her products. So first we have the eyeshadow palettes. There's three all together. I got two of the shades and the box is pretty simple. I don't feel like she's a subtle person. I feel like she always has the most incredible ponytails, the most intense winged liner. Like she's not just a subtle person. You know what I mean? Like her outfits, like to me, she just doesn't seem like a subtle person. She seems kind of extra. And then when I saw the packaging, I was like, oh, that was a surprise to me because it's really basic and you know what it's fine you throw away the boxes so i would rather the packaging be like whatever and then the actual product itself be amazing because at the end of the day we don't save the boxes do we we throw them away so i'm not too bo bothered by the packaging i think i was just a bit surprised i didn't expect it to be that simple and then when you actually get the the actual product packaging again very simple it's all silver or white and clear um it does feel a little I don't want to say cheap, but it's definitely not the most luxurious. However, it's not a super duper high end brand. It's kind of like mixed between drugstore and high end for me. I feel like it's kind of like in the middle, like this palette right here is $24. You get six shades all together. Um, you know, it's a kind of smallish little palette. You do have a small mirror, but the actual quality of the shadows are, are actually really nice. So as much as I am just not a huge fan of the packaging, um, I think the product itself is really nice in these palettes. So there's three different shades of these. They're $24. And then she has matte liquid shadows. So these are awesome. And you'll see me using them. These are $16. They are just a straight up matte liquid shadow. They have some gorgeous, like perfect nude tones. So altogether, there's 10 shades. So there's a lot of good neutral. I mean, they're all like very neutral shades. Um, and I think for $16, that's not much more than like drugstore prices. So I think the price point for the quality of the actual product itself is very, very good. So then we have the Lustrous Liquid Shadows. These ones are again $16. There are 11 shades of these. This one I actually forgot that I had, and this is Fembot, so I didn't swatch it, so I'll swatch it right now for you guys. Um, this is actually the color I was most excited about, and then I it was hiding, and I forgot that I actually had it. So when you swatch them on your hand, you think, wow, these are amazing. They're going to be so awesome. And you'll see in the video, when you actually like go to blend them out or work with them, they just, I don't know, they just didn't seem to, they don't look as good on the lid as they do on my hand, which that's not the point. I would rather it swatch badly and be amazing on the lid versus being swatched fat. I mean, the swatch is amazing and then for some reason on my lid I was like oh what's happening so I don't know if that's all of the shades but the ones that I tried out were UFO and um, what was the other color lab coat and while I did get like a pretty look I wasn't overjoyed with the way it turned out I was just expecting a little bit more from the swatch I got on my hand so a little bit disappointing um, but we'll get into everything right now I'm just kind of showing you what I got and the prices next thing I got was mascara this is the volumizing mascara very different from like any other packaging that I have seen before for mascara it's got a fun kind of like unique shape and the actual wand itself is also a very unique shape so this is only $15. It's cheaper than the one that I love. And it, it has done a good job. Then we have the highlights. There are 10 shades all together. And these retail for $22. I got the color Miss Mercury, which I think is the lightest color that you can get. I like my highlights to be really beaming. You do have a small mirror. And then you have, um, how many ounces is this? 0.28 ounces of product. It kind of got like a swirl design to it. And when you swatch it, it is very beamy. Oh, I just put it right on over to that liquid shadow, didn't I? Gosh darn it. So you can see, when you swatch it, it swatches beautifully. And I'll be showing you guys everything on, and I'll be talking about 
you know, what I think about it as I'm putting it on and everything. Next, I got the lipstick. This is called the On Your Collar Matte Lipstick. These retail for $19. You've got this fun little, like, it looks like a little space person, and it's like a very whoop, magnetic, like super magnetic. Six shades all together, and I think I got the two lightest ones. They also have a lip stain marker, which I did not get. And then they have a plumping lip gloss. Oh, it is a plumping lip gloss. I felt it getting cold on my lips. I didn't realize it was plumping, but I don't think it ever actually plumped, but it did make my lips feel really cold. So I got three out of the nine shades that they have to offer. Um, this color right here, oh my gosh, how perfect is this? This is Waterfalls. This one is Chucky, and then this one is called Pink Razor. So these ones retail for $17, and these ones are very small. They twist off, and then they just have a squeezy tube. Those are the products I got. I got numerous shades in different, you know, in each product. Um, and we're just going to be swatching everything, testing it all out, and I'm just going to be doing a full tutorial showing you guys how everything goes on the skin, how it works, if it's pigmented, do I like it, what's the smell, all that good stuff. But I do want to just put this on real quick because this is the Fembot and this is actually the one that I was the most excited about. I'm just going to add this on the top to what I already have because I was actually the most excited for this color. So I don't want to like miss out. Okay, so the Fembot is actually really pretty. They're just a little bit of a tricky formula to work with. However, that Fembot is probably the most impressive one out of the three colors that I got out of the lustrous liquid, lustrous liquid shadows. Let's go ahead and get into the first impressions and the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy. I'm gonna link everything down below that I got. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Give me a big thumbs up if you found this helpful and enjoyed it. And follow me on Instagram, it is at Sam Sherman, S-A-M-S-C-H-U-E-R-M-A-N. And let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is take the highlighter. This is the um, Interstellar Highlighter Topper in the color Miss Mercury. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's just a very kind of simple silver little compact. It's kind of raised, almost like kind of like a dome shape on both sides. And then it just says Rem Beauty here. And then on the back, it says the color and what it is. I will say I like how it closes. Like it has this little like dink. Like that's a good sound. It's like magnetic so it just like bonk. So I like that. I feel like it closes really nicely. It's got a little mirror. There's the color. So ooh, swatches really nicely. So I'm just gonna take a big fluffy brush and I am just going to start buffing it and usually I like to do my highlight before I powder I feel like it sets on the skin a lot nicer it makes it look a little bit more dewy and even when you powder over it it still shines through so it's really beautiful I am noticing that it looks a little bit thick on the skin normally I use the Laura Mercier and I can like really pound that one on there and it never ever like looks thick or builds up. It, it looks a little thick. It's not quite as nice as the Laura Mercier and it's not quite as beaming as I like. I mean it is beaming but the Laura Mercier I think I'm just spoiled now because it's just such a nice, such a nice texture that I have a hard time finding anything that like compares like the beam and then the how fine it is and how silky smooth it looks on the skin. It's like really hard to find something as good as that. So this is pretty, the color is nice. The color is nice and it is, it is beaming. It's just, it's looking a little thick, a little thick on the skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish off my bronzer and um, blush. I don't think I got a blush. I don't think there was one. And then we'll come, wait a minute, was there a blush? No, I don't think they had one or I would have bought it. And then I'll come back and we'll do the rest of the products that I do have. Okay, so I have done my base. So now I always like to move on to lips next. So this is Morphe Backseat Love Lip Liner. I fill in a whole lot of this.
So this is again what the packaging looks like for the lipstick. Super simple, just kind of like that soft gray. This is called the On Your Collar Matte Lipstick. I have the color Bubbly and Roller Skates. So it comes in a little plastic bag like this. So this is what the actual lipstick looks like. So it's like a little spacesuit kind of. So I kind of think it's fun. I think it's a little different. It's quite thick and chunky. So it's going to take up a lot of room in your purse. It's going to take a lot of room when you're storing them. And then on the actual berry bottom, it says the number, or I'm sorry, the color. So this one is bubbly. This was the one that had a ton of holes. As soon as I opened this up, I was like, okay, is anyone talking about this or is this just my lipstick? It's like tiny little holes all over my lipstick. I don't know if it's just that's what the formula is supposed to look like. This one is more so than I think the other one. So that one is bubbly. Let's check roller skates to see what one has the most holes. They both have a lot of holes, so I don't know if that's just what they're supposed to look like, like if this is just what the formula does. Focusing on my hand instead. So there is bubbly right there. It's kind of like a pinky mauve. And then this one is roller skates. So roller skates is absolutely gorgeous, a little bit more peachy. So I'm actually gonna do roller skates. They smell delicious, like frosting. It's like vanilla frosting. Oh God, it smells so good. It's like yummy. And these are a matte lipstick. Wow, this color is so pretty, I love it. it feels really creamy, like straight up vanilla frosting. Like it smells so delicious. So that went on really nice, very opaque, really creamy, smells amazing. And what I love, look at that. The magnet is like intense on this thing. We have three lip glosses. I got the color Pink Razor, Waterfalls, and Chucky. So Waterfalls looks like probably my most favorite color. This is called the On Your Collar Plumping Lip Gloss. So let's talk about the pros. It's nice and small, it's very compact, you can store it easily, it's gonna fit in your purse really easily, it's nice and little. So, you know, here's a size, the lipstick is way bigger than the lip gloss. However, as soon as I opened it, I was a little disappointed because it's a squeezy tube, and it's actually quite a stiff, thick plastic. So when you're trying to squeeze it, it's really actually quite difficult to squeeze out. You're probably best to try and squeeze it onto your hand, cause like, look how I'm squeezing so hard it's like it is quite a difficult little tube to squeeze so it's gonna be, it's not gonna be one of those you can easily push out and just do 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 like i have to like really you know give it a give it a squeeze so that's the color waterfalls this is the color pink razor and they do have the actual name of the color on the thing which i think is is nice because sometimes oh see that one came out a lot easier interesting so that one i think you could probably squeeze onto your lips I just don't like it when you squeeze it directly onto your lips. Personally, I don't, I, I, I much prefer like a wand. Look how pretty this one is. Oh my gosh, this one's so cool. So this one is called Chucky and it's like this amazing, like sparkly, purpley, opal. Oh wow, it's just amaze. Okay, so that one comes out a little easier as well. But again, the plastic is quite hard. It's quite firm and stiff. So they are just a little bit harder to use. And I always think about like if people have troubles with their hands, my hands are not my strong point. I did hair for a while and I think that, you know, just over the years of doing hair for so long, my hands just, they get really sore really easily and they're not quite as strong as they used to be. So I just don't like things to be too hard. Like if it's too hard to squeeze, I don't want to have to like you know, it just makes me feel like really weak. <laughs> the size is nice. I just wish it would have had a wand instead of a squeezy tube. I just don't like squeezy tubes. And I'm actually going to go in with that waterfall color. It is so pretty. Ooh, they smell minty. It's like a vanilla mint. They're quite slippery, actually. Like the formula is like quite... I don't know, it just has like a, a bit of a slip to it. I'm gonna put that Chucky one on the top. Just as I hinger. The formula is almost messing with the lipstick underneath. It's like so slippery that it's, I don't know how to describe it. I just feel like it's kind of messing with the lipstick underneath. I don't know about that. It might be one of those products that's maybe best to use alone. I'm sad because I was super excited for those ones and the packaging just like really doesn't do it for me. I don't like the squeezy tube. I just want to have a wand that I can just put on. You know what I mean? I feel like this is like a lot of work. 
I don't want to have to like work that hard to put gloss on. Like, I love the color of that waterfall mixed with this. I think it's really pretty. I just wish it was like more, I don't want to say thicker, but it's just kind of like really slippery. So it, it really does seem to like disturb the lipstick underneath. We're going to play with the liquid eyeshadows. I got five. They are called the liquid eyeshadow. I'm sorry, Midnight Shadows Liquid Eyeshadow. So this packaging is just plain white. It's really simple. I think the inside packaging of these liquid eyeshadows is actually really cute. It's super simple. You can see the color here, so I like that. The top is really smooth. Again, a little thick, a little clumsy, but... You know, I always just think about this because I store so much makeup, so I just want to make sure that things aren't going to take up a ton of room. And so these do take up a little bit more room because they're a little thicker. However, I like that I can just see the color right here. I think that's really nice. And they are very simple. And they do feel super smooth and, like, rounded. And so I like that. I like that there's no harsh edges. So this color is called Lab Coat. So that's the applicator. So it's a little doe foot, kind of like, almost like a triangle. Yeah, it is a little flexible, okay? So this is Lab Coat. So you can see it's kind of like a pinky, kind of has like a bit of a shift to it. Really, really beautiful. The next color we have is UFO. So UFO, again, is another sparkly one. And it is really pretty. It's like a really shimmery, it's like a taupe, a sparkly taupe. And I'll get up close in a sec. I just want to be able to like show you the sheen from there. NM, or sorry, NV me, which... NVM, which I'm assuming is Nevermind. So beautiful. This is one of the matte ones that I specifically got because I thought it'd be really pretty for the crease. That one is absolutely gorgeous. I'm so excited. And I thought that these would be kind of nice when you don't want to wear a shadow, like a palette shadow. Um, you could just use these alone. This is just heart. It's just a heart, like the actual, like, um, you know, a three and then the little V. Oh my god, this one is even better than the last. And they feel really nice. Like, the texture of them feels really nice, so I'm excited to play with them and see. This one is called Sup. Sup. And this one, again, really beautiful crease color. These are just so pretty to wear alone, I feel like. I like the applicator. I wish that the gloss had this exact applicator. I feel like it would be so much more convenient. So those are the shades from afar. And then I'll get up nice and close. And then those are the shades up close. You can see they're really, really beautiful. They all kind of go with each other really nicely. They're beautiful. I think the first thing that I'm going to do is take sup. Sup. And I'm just going to put a little bit of this in my crease. And then I'm just going to use a brush to blend it out. I feel like this is gonna be such a pretty, and I don't know how fast they dry, so I'm just gonna work fairly quickly. But I feel like it's like the perfect crease color. They're pigmented. They seem to be blending out really easily. Oh, I just got a little bit much in that corner there. I got a little excited. Yeah, they feel really creamy actually. Like you don't need very much. We're just gonna have to do that on the other side and bring it down so that it looks like I meant to do it. And I just wanna see if we can build it up just by using the liquid shadow. So that was Sup. Nevermind is a little cooler, but let's just kinda of see. And we're just gonna play with it and see. Ooh, that one actually might not even show. That one might be a little bit too light for me in that section yeah i think it is for me so far the sup is perfect this one might be a little bit too mauve the nevermind and nvm but we're building it then we're gonna do the heart one this one is a little deeper i think so we're just gonna pop that up in that crease again and i'm just going to continue to blend and I feel like this would actually be really pretty all over the lid too, but I, f I feel like I only have so much lid space, so I want to try the other colors that we have too. So I'm just going to pull that up and make sure everything is blended. They blend really nicely. Oh wow. Once they dry, they do not come off. Oh my god. I'm like wiping so hard to get these off. Next I'm going to take a little bit of this heart one. And I am just gonna get a little kind of like dome shaped brush and get a little bit of it and then run this underneath 
my lower lash line. They're really creamy. They just glide so easily and so effortlessly. And like I'm using them with brushes and they're still just, it's just so easy. That was just like so effortless. So I really like these. I think they're awesome. I love the matte ones so far. I think they're really beautiful. This is the Midnight Shadows eyeshadow palette in Principessa. Again, it's that same gray packaging. Who's calling me? Hi. I'm so depressed. How could they kill Big? I was like, what the crap? They're not gonna kill him on the first episode. Like, how crap? I just couldn't believe my my mouth was literally open the entire thing. I was just like, I got all tingly and stressed out. I was crying like the whole time, basically. Have you watched the second episode yet? Yeah, we just watched both. Can you believe it? No, I hate this. I don't understand why they killed Big the first freaking episode. Maybe he just couldn't. Could commit that's what i said to jay i'm like maybe he said look i can make an appearance but i can't do the whole series so they had to kill him off yeah. wait what what people die wait what i said people have heart attacks and die no they don't not in sex in the city not big i was like but he's she's known him like her whole life and i know we can't well, you know what? Maybe there'll be a new love interest. Maybe she'll get back together with what's his name, who I love. Who, Aiden? Oh, yeah, I love Aiden. I was so well, I sad said that because when... I looked over at you and you were crying and you were so sad. And I was like, she's watched this show. This is like <laughs> decades. Yeah, like... of a relationship. Yeah, and like... Oh, I was oh. like bawling. Like, I was crying so hard. Oh, my God, you're such a sweet baby. Anyway, I'm just in the middle of filming, so can I call you when I'm done? Yeah. Okay. Okay, bye. Bye. Okay, my sister was calling to discuss the first episode of Sex and the City. I My mouth was just not open the whole entire ending. I was just like, how did they do this to me? This reminds me so much of like... I think it was like Physician's Formula. I think that the packaging for the highlighter is actually quite nice, but for the for the eyeshadow palette, it just seems so small. Here I go about complaining about this being big though. I don't know, I just, I mean, it is convenient. It is compact, you can stick it in your bag. These are the colors of the Principessa. Uh, really pretty colors. I think that, you know, you've got your good basics. So that's that one. This one is my favorite though. This one is called Baby Doll. And I feel like I'll definitely get a lot of use out of this one. These colors are super duper me. First, I am just going to go in with this color right here. And I am just going to carve out a little bit of my crease because I feel like just as it is, it's a little lost and I need to give it a little bit more definition. This seems to be blending out really nicely. Um, the liquid eyeshadow actually does still feel a little, I don't wanna say tacky, but you can definitely feel like there's a texture underneath. So it's definitely kind of making it a little bit less smooth to blend out. There is a texture that you can feel. So I don't know what I have done in this inner corner on this side, but I like came way, way far in, so. It's fine. Um, then I am going to go back in with this little, this slightly darker color right here on the end. And I'm just going to kind of deepen it up just a little bit more around the edge here. I like how neutral this palette is though. I think it's really pretty. I'm going to go in with this, this color again. It's kind of like a warm brown and I'm just going to deepen this up just a little bit. So I'm going to get this deepest color right here. Okay, so I've got my kind of winged liner that I did. I feel like this side is like, because I have those liquid shadows on underneath, I'm actually having a slightly harder time blending out that top shadow that I put on top. There's just a bit of a line there and it's just like, it's stuck. So if you do wanna use these as a base to like for your, you know, your lower lid to really pack it down, they're gonna work awesomely because I feel like it's like, once it's on there, it is stuck down and you're not it's not budging. Now I wanna try out the liquid shadow in UFO because it just looks so pretty. So I'm just going to pop this. Oh, wow. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh. 
Oh, interesting. So once you blend it out with your finger, you completely lose that sparkle. So you're better off to just get less product and just like actually paint it on. That's interesting. Like, did you guys see how it just completely lost all of its shimmer? Once I touched it with my finger, it was just like gone. I'm slightly disappointed in that one. I feel like it's not, it swatched so good on my hand that I was like super excited. And then for some reason it just didn't really like do a whole lot on um, on the lid. I am just going to go back into that highlight and I'm going to use that to right in the inner corner here. Let's just add a little bit of the lab coat. Oh wow, that's completely like shooken up the whole look. I don't know, when you put them on with your finger, they just don't like seem to do a whole lot. It's actually kind of an interesting consistency. It's a little oily feeling. I don't know if I love these. I don't know if I love them at all. I really liked the matte ones. I think the matte ones are awesome, but I feel like these ones swatch really nice on the hand. They look amazing. And then when you put them on the lid, they're just, I mean, they're okay. They're nice but they're not quite as sparkly as they look when you swatch them. For some reason, they're just not performing on my lids as well as I would have hoped. I'm just gonna put my nude liner in my waterline. I mean, it looks pretty. I don't know, it just swatched so well on the hand that I was just expecting so much more for some reason. Um, that liquid eyeshadow does take a little while to dry, so if you curl your lashes right afterwards, your lash curler will get stuck to your lid, so just keep that in mind. It just took off a bunch of shadow. I would say for sure the matte, the matte ones are amazing. I absolutely love the matte liquid shadows. I think those ones are worth getting, and I think the colors are like so perfect. This is called the Flourishing Volumizing Mascara, exact same packaging. This is in the color Midnight Black. Oh, this is fun. So this is like a fun kind of like slightly different design. I like that. I think the shape is actually really cool. Will it be awkward to hold? We will find out. Oh wow, the brush is interesting. Look at that. Let's see how it works. So I've put my Lancome Seals Booster XL on underneath, which is what I always use. My lips do feel really cold from this lip gloss because I think it's got like some kind of peppermint in it. I don't want to say it feels plumping, but it definitely feels cold. It's better than some, I will say that. It's definitely better than some mascaras I've tried. I'm very particular about my mascara. And it's definitely better than some, but it's not as good as my Lancome. The Lancome Hypnose Drama for me is just such a winner. It's just such a good mascara. And I feel like I try to find ones that compete and they don't even come close. It has done a good job of lifting actually. I will say it does a good job of like lifting and curling. So if you already have like really amazing lashes and you're looking for like a good lift, it's definitely curled and lifted really well. They look good. They're not the best I've ever seen, but they're actually pretty high up there on mascaras go. I've tried a lot of different mascaras and most of them are just like pathetic and I'm like, no, I don't like this. This is actually definitely up there. If I lost my hypnose drama and I had this one as a backup, I wouldn't be sad. I wouldn't be super sad to use it. I'd be like, oh, okay, my lashes still look good. They do look good. So I will give this like a seven out of 10. So I'm just gonna dust off my bake. As that liquid shadow is dry, most of it came off when I curled my lashes. Gosh darn it. It's like literally almost all gone. That's funny. Wow, I am really struggling to blend these out once you re-add it on there. I'm gonna let them dry and then they're like really sticky right now. So I am gonna add some blush back in because I now have lost a little bit since I buffed out my bake. Let me just spray real quick. No more spray. How sad, I have to try a new one. Oh God, that's really wet. Oof, that got my face wet. That 
this Mil <coughs> Milani one. It's the Milani Make It Last Peach Scented Setting Spray. It smells amazing. I do want to add just a little bit more of that purpley gloss. It smells really good. Okay, so there is the finished look. So you guys can see it nice and up close. The matte liquid shadows are worth getting. I think these are awesome. Specifically the color Sup and Heart. I think I could probably do without this color right here, which is Nevermind. Um, I feel like that one didn't really do a whole lot for me, but these two right here, the Sup and the Heart, I absolutely love. For some reason, these ones swatch so nicely on the hands, but they're just kind of like a little tricky to work with on the lid. Like it's quite an oily, there's a bit of a slip to it. So there's, it's kind of like oily on the lid. And then if you put it on with your finger, you lose all of the sparkle. And then if you put it on with this, and then try to like, you know, make it blend out a little bit. It's like once it's on, it's stuck. It's really hard to blend out the line and it kind of builds up and looks a little thick. Like right here, it looks a little thick. Um, once I did reapply and kind of add it up, I think I did get a, a good amount of sparkle, but I just think they're a little tricky to work with. They're just a little bit difficult to use. And I feel like I like to use stuff with my fingers a lot. I like to blend it out. I like to put it on there. And the e.l.f. liquid shadows are so much easier to work with than these. And I feel like even when I use my finger, you don't lose that sparkle. And you guys saw as soon as I used my finger, it was like, where did it go? It's disappeared. So I would pass on the shimmery ones. I just don't think, I mean, I ended up getting it to look nice. Like it, it worked, but it was a really fiddly experience. I feel like I had to layer it and then it came off on my, my curler. It all like wiped right off because it was really sticky. It takes kind of a while to dry down. I just feel like it's a little bit hard to work with. And for me, like I don't have time to be fiddling around with my makeup. Like I have kids, I've got to go take them to school, rush back, film, do all the stuff I have to do. Like I don't have time to be messing around with eight layers of liquid shadows. I absolutely love the color of the Roller Skates lipstick. I feel like this one is just super beautiful. You know what is funny though? The magnets, they like, when you put them together, they kind of clink. It doesn't stick all the way though. Um, this color, what was this color? Bubbly, really pretty, a little bit too mauve for me. I think it's just a little bit too cool tone, so I prefer the Roller Skates. I like how they click on Oh, I've just completely jacked that up. Gosh darn it. Um, I think that that's really nice how they just kind of click because, I don't know, it's fun that you can see the color through the little thing. So I think that's kind of cool too. The lipsticks, I would recommend. I think they're really beautiful. I think Roller Skates is an absolutely gorgeous color. I like how opaque it was. Um, I liked how creamy it was. I love the smell. Amazing. The lip glosses, ah, slightly disappointed in, to be honest. I mean, I think that they look nice, like once you get it, you know, once you get it on. But again, it's a bit fiddly for me. I just want things that are super easy and convenient. I don't want to have to squeeze this out onto my hand, get a lip brush or use my finger and put it on. I just want to get a wand applicator and po poke it on. And for me, the Chucky reminds me so much once it's on the lips, it reminds me so much of the NYX Diamond Drip. So this is the NYX Diamond Drip. And it is like this really fun purple. Again, it kind of has that shift. And it's super affordable. It has an amazing flexible wand. It doesn't disturb your lipstick. Lip, lipstick. Lip. Oh, I can't even talk. Lipstick underneath. And then the Chucky has a, once you blend them out, they have a similar vibe. The Chucky is a little bit more sparkly and a little bit more blue, but they kind of have the same look once you put them on over other things. Um, and I think for a fraction of the price, you're better off going with the NYX because the NYX does not disturb your lipstick underneath. It has a wand that is really flexible and easy to use. It's just a little bit more convenient. So I don't know if I love the packaging. I think the formula is nice little slippery, a little bit thinner and more slippery than I like. I don't know. It's almost like there's just kind of like an oily formula. It's kind of like a similar thing to the liquid eyeshadows. There's like some kind of oily, like slippery formula in there that it just, instead of like 
sitting on it kind of just disturbs what's underneath this color is amazing but i don't know there's something about the formula that i just didn't love the smell of it is delicious so i think they're okay i don't think that they are bad i just don't like the packaging and i mean the colors are the colors are gorgeous colors are absolutely gorgeous but there's something about the the i don't know if it's just because i had to put it on without a wand or if it's just this the formula itself but it definitely does disturb your lipstick underneath and that to me is a big pet peeve when it comes to lip gloss the shadows i will say were very pigmented went on really nicely absolutely love the colors in this one the uh the baby doll they're absolutely gorgeous and sorry i forgot to swatch them didn't i so those are all the colors there they swatch beautifully they're very pigmented they feel creamy they went on really nicely i liked the formula of those so yeah i feel like the actual product itself is really nice i just don't love the design of i mean i think this is cute i like i do like how like it comes up here i think the actual I don't know if it's just the silver I'm not loving. I'm not really sure. It just feels a little cheap. And even when you open it up, like it just feels like I got some, it's like a drugstore kind of like old school physician's formula. I don't know what it reminds me of, but it's definitely, it just feels a little bit more drugstore-y. However, the product itself is very nice. So, and you know, the size is convenient if you want to travel with it, if you want to keep it in your bag. So there's just my thoughts. This color, what was this one? The Principessa probably won't use as much as the baby doll so i feel like if i could go back and just get one i'd go with the baby doll i do love those two colors there um it's always nice to have a black so it's probably quite good to have um and then you know these are pretty i just never really i never really do these colors very much so and i probably hardly will ever wear this one so i would say i'll get the most use out of the baby doll one the mascara i think is also how horrible does my hair look man i really should have just gone and fixed it before i did this whole thing i'll i'll be cute in the, in the beginning <laughs> this mascara i think is a good one i think it's actually one of the better products out of the collection um because it has lifted and it's curled my lashes really well so i would say the mascara is good it's not as good as lancome hypnose drama but it is good i think the wand is unique i've never seen anything like that as far as the wand shape or style goes and i think it's definitely up there as far as you know the ratings over the whole entire collection of everything that i got i would say this is actually one of the better products um of the collection and then the last product i think is the highlighter so highlighter actually like i think it's funny because i think that the, the highlighter packaging actually looks a little bit more expensive than the eyeshadow packaging i'm not sure why that is but this one doesn't, it doesn't seem as cheap. However, everything is very light. It's very lightweight. It doesn't have like a whole lot of like oomph to it. I like the little designs in the actual highlighter though. I think that's fun. I think the highlighter is pretty. I think it's very comparable to a lot of highlighters out there. It's like that kind of a slightly, th I don't want to say thicker consistency, but it is like there's a little bit more of like that thicker consistency to it. Um, it swatches really beautifully and it feels really fine but it's not as fine and for me this is how most highlighters feel now that i use the laura mercier translucent one what is it called i always forget what it's called because it's got kind of a long name so this is the one i usually use this is the laura mercier translucent loose setting powder light catcher in celestial light so this is actually a translucent powder so it's so fine but you would not want to use it as a setting powder because it literally makes you look like a shiny alien that's what i use as my highlight and it is super fine it's super lightweight but it beams and it just melts into the skin you can take it all the way underneath your eyes it's just so light and fine so i feel like anytime i use any kind of pressed powder after this that is a highlight everything feels a little thick it feels like almost like a creamier and kind of thicker consistency to where i just don't love them as much as that the consistency of the laura mercier so i think if i hadn't have tried the laura mercier i would think that this is a beautiful highlighter because it really does look very nice to see where i've jacked this up it just would not blend out over there right there it's like a bit of a mess so just ignore that um but it does actually look really beautiful on the skin like once i've sprayed and everything's set it does look really pretty so i would say the highlight is nice but if you've tried the laura mercier you'll know exactly what i'm talking about once you try that it's so difficult to use any other highlighters and i have highlighters that i have loved for so long that i go back to use and I feel the exact same way about I do about this as I do with ones that I used to love but now that I use the Laura, Laura Mercier I'm like oh that feels thick so 
I think it is a nice highlighter. I, I wouldn't say that it's not a good highlighter because it really is and it does look really pretty. I am beaming. It does look pretty on the skin. Um, it's not, it's enhancing texture a little bit. It just looks a little thicker on the skin than the Laura Mercier. The Laura Mercier is just so, I don't know the word. It's just so good that everything else seems like, mm. My must haves, roller skates lipstick, the two matte liquid shadows, so Sup and Heart. So far, these are must-haves. And then I would say the Baby Doll. The Baby Doll Shadow. I think that palette is really beautiful. It's good for traveling, and it's got all the colors that you need. Those four products are my must-haves. And then I think the next ones would be the highlighter and the mascara. Because the mascara, I mean, the more I look at my lashes, I'm like, they do actually look really good. I feel a bit sad. I feel a bit like that was a bit of a negative review. And I don't like doing negative reviews. But I just want to be honest and share exactly what I feel about the products. And maybe it was just like I was so excited about it that I had like all, I was so hyped up that I'm like, oh, you know what I mean? Maybe that's what it was. If I would have just like randomly bought it in the store, would I have been as disappointed? I'm not sure. Sometimes I feel like when we get so hyped up about a collection and we care about it for so long and we have this like, this expectation and then when it doesn't reach that expectation that you thought it was then I feel like you have more of a negative view towards the product than you would have if you would have just randomly came across it in a store. I don't know, maybe maybe that's the case. I feel like if the lip glosses had a wand, I would definitely be super pumped about them. I feel like it all turned out pretty at, in the end. This is, I don't know what's going on here. I can't seem to get it to blend out. It's just, oh, it's actually blending out better with my finger there. I think that actually worked out a little bit better. I forgot that I, I never swatched the um, Principessa palette for you guys. So I'm just gonna swatch them. The formula really is very good. I mean, look at this swatch of that black. It is really intense. So the swatches are good. They really are a very, very nice formula. So the shadows are amazing. I feel like it's just a, a preference of the color. There's my thoughts on everything that I bought from this brand. I hope that you guys found this helpful and enjoyed it. Definitely give me a thumbs up if you guys did. Did you order any of the products? Did you like them? Were you impressed? Were you a little bit sad? And then if you haven't ordered anything, what, after seeing my video, is still on your list? What are you most excited for? So let me know. I would love to know what you guys think about the collection and, or I shouldn't say the collection, the brand. And I'll see you guys in my next video.